Hey guys, this is The Great Gamer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install iOS 15.8.2. So, as you can see, I have 15.8.2 on here, on my iPhone 7 Plus RC release candidate, aka. So, it's like beta testing, but what you'll need for this first is a Windows or Mac PC and a phone. You will not need any jailbreaks for this, trust me. I've done it in the past, it works fine without jailbreaks. And this is an SE first gen right here. So you wanna go to this website called ipsbeta.dev right here, what's on the top. And then you select your model. In this case, it's a iPhone SE first gen. And click download right here. And let me just dismiss all these ads because they're annoying as heck. So just wait for that download to, in, to download. And I'll show you the next step once it's done downloading. All right, guys, it's done downloading. So I am gonna prove to you this is still on 15.8.1 and that, yeah, it's on 15.8.1. And do note, while you're downloading this, um, it doesn't really matter what Mac OS version you're on, unless you're on a beta, then maybe that would be a little unstable, I don't know. It, most Windows from Windows 10 and up should work. Uh, Windows 7 might work, I am not a professional though, so I can't really say so. While it's downloading, it depends what year MacBook model you have. For instance, I have a 2012 right here. As you can see right there. And also the year of your Windows computer. And no, you do not need a USB stick. So what you'll want to do after it's done downloading for Mac OS, you'll want to go into iTunes. Well, uh, not iTunes, but, uh, sorry, this one has a little bit of burning, but uh, you'll want to go into iTunes and then Finder, and then look for the iPhone, trust it. Once you've typed in your passcode after you put it in to the computer, and uh, just give it a sec right here. So this is being shown in real time. Uh, I don't know it's taking it so long. Maybe it's because my MacBook's old. I'm actually gonna try something. gonna reconnect this and once you get here for Windows you're gonna want to click I am so sorry about that guys my parents disrupted but for as I was saying for Windows you're gonna want to click shift and then use your mouse to click check for update. And let me just set this down so you can see a little bit clearer of what I'm doing. So on Mac OS, what I'm doing, you're gonna wanna click Alt, the Alt key or Option key. Let me show you a little better view. So this key right here, So once you have it downloaded, click option and then check for update. 
and then choose this file right here and then put open and then put update and as you can see it's preparing the software update for the iPhone and this will take a long time depending on your internet connection internet connection this might work for 15.8.3 in the future if you visit this website so do stay tuned for that but I'm gonna time lapse it now Okay guys, so you saw the phone was done updating. So now we have the phone here. And as you can see, it's an iPhone SE first generation. 15.8.2 has not come out yet. But this could take anywhere from two to four hours, depending on your internet connection. Because whenever I started the video, you could see it's 11.13 and I started this at nine something. But... 15.8.2, I'm just going to show you right here, it's an SE first gen, so yeah, pretty cool thing, so, so as I was saying, if you're maining this phone, uh, make sure to back up all your data, so that's how to install iOS 15.8.2, if you do use this as your main, please back up your data, so yeah, Okay, guys, and that's it for this video. Don't forget to stay tuned for more awesome content like this, and bye.